I can hear you saying, okay, I get it. What's the difference between delta-8 and delta-9 THC? Well, they are also constitutional isomers that differ only in the position of just one carbon-carbon double bond. However, this difference is quite small compared to the overall similarity of the structures. So these two isomers have very similar effects on the human endocannabinoid system. In fact, delta-8 has roughly the same affinity for CB2 receptors as does delta-9 THC. However, delta-9 has a higher affinity for CB1 receptor than does delta-8 THC. This ultimately means that delta-8 produces a similar high effect, but it takes a larger dose of it to achieve the same effect as a given amount of delta-9 THC. And in fact, delta-8 appears to be incapable of producing the same level of euphoric effect as delta-9, no matter how high the dose is. That said, the high producing effect of delta-8 is the main reason that most purchasers seek it out in the first place. Some people report using it medicinally, and I'll get more into the potential medicinal benefits of delta-8 later.